Hey guys, the Cantapresa Shop here, and today's video will be a complete guide on how to assemble the Prometheus MSLA. The configuration and calibration will be done in another video. Basically, this one will be a condensed video of the live stream we did few weeks ago. For those who are new here, the Prometheus MSLA is the first 100% open source large format resin printer. It's a really nice project and don't forget to come join our Discord and be part of the project. What you see here is the frame kit that you can purchase in one of our supplier. You can even personalize the color. At this moment, we are speaking with other supplier that will be able to offer a complete kit for the Prometheus. Links of them will be in the video description or in the BOM. What we suggest is to begin with the bottom plate where the electronics will reside. All the screw type you will need for the build will be written in the bottom left corner so you will be able to follow along. All the other documentation is in the making right now. You can find everything on our GitHub. For the frame, we suggest blind hole joints because they are pretty easy to do by yourself with minimal tools. They are sturdy and easy to adjust for the squareness of the frame. Note that the kit available by the authorized supplier will come already cut, drilled and tapped. Don't go too far in the assembly of the frame, else you will have a hard time to fit your bottom plate in place. While you're there, we suggest you to assemble a good part of the electronics and wiring while everything is nicely accessible. All the components for the guiding and movement uh, need to stay a bit loose because we will align everything later on. In this build, we will be using a ball screw. Online, you will see that two versions of the Prometheus is available. One with an acme rod and the other with a ball screw. Obviously, the Acme rod will be cheaper and it gives very nice result too. Here we did go with the ball screw only for longevity. Acme nut can worn out over time. 
ball screws are nice but you need to be very careful when buying one because those cheap ones can wobble quite a lot and will impact your prints. This is why you will see in the build that we didn't put the top bearing. First, we don't really need it because we don't we don't put lateral forces only in, in the Z or up and down direction. So, second, by removing it, the screw will be able to wobble and don't introduce this move, movement into the whole assembly uh, if the ball screw is a little bit bent. Little side note for everyone who doesn't know, generally when you buy linear rails or ball screw, the grease on them is only there to protect the part during shipping from rust and oxidation. The first thing you will need to do is to clean everything first and apply your own oil, grease or both. You can look at Mirage 3D or Vest 3D YouTube channel for a good recipe and guides. On the channel, we have an in-depth video series for some of the parts on the machine. You can see in details how to assemble those. When the build arm is fixed in place, you can tighten everything in place. I suggest you to move the arm up and down while tightening everything so the rails can be perfectly parallel with the ball screw. We are using an inductive probe for the homing, but you can theoretically use anything you want because the Prometheus Apollo board supports all type of sensors. Those little guides is our amazing lock mechanism that utilizes a ball detent for the vat. You can now forget about your typical screws. You can just push and click the vat in place. We have an in-depth video of this design that you can watch. Now the fun part. I suggest you to not do like me in the video and do this directly on the table. This frame is for leveling the LCD with the vat. It sounds odd, but works very well. Again, we have an in-depth video of an early version of this. You will need to install the spring in place. These techniques uh, provide an easier solution for the wire and machining tolerances. We don't need to cut a groove at a specific depth to set the glass and LCD on the metal plate. Now, the cut goes right through it. We will now need to close the electronics bay and finalize the wiring because after that it will be harder to work on connections.
you will see me playing with the screws under the middle plate. This is for the preliminary leveling so the LCD can stop wobbling. When everything is done, you can tape down the edges of the screen and what I use is hockey tape. I know some use electrical tape but this stuff becomes gummy and mess everything up. For the real 3M tape that is recommended is pretty similar to hockey tape but 3 times the price for like 3 times less. <laughs> Before taping, look if your LCD is aligned with the build plate. You don't want to have a tape part under the build plate. It will create issue with leveling later. When that is done, you can elevate a bit the LCD over the surface with the screws so it will be closer to the FEP and the tape will stretch a bit and keep everything in place. So that is pretty much it for the build video guide. I just want to take the time to say a huge thank you for everyone involved in the project and the nice community we have. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join our discord server to chat with us. Thank you for watching and see you soon.